So this is for the Design Sprint 2.0, day three, which is prototyping day. It's really easy to get stuck on a few things and get a few things wrong. So these are the five top tips to make your prototyping day of the sprint a success. Oh, hi there. One of those ones. Um, oh, hi there. I'm trying to do it like that. Okay. Hi, I'm Dee from AJ and Smart. We're going to talk about prototyping, some really big do's and don'ts, common pitfalls and things to watch out for to make your prototyping day less stressful and more successful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe below and you'll see tons more useful tips, tricks and uh, lots of information about design sprints. I've got five key tips for you for prototyping. Number one, really important make sure there's a quiet space or a special room where you can go or the prototyping team can go so they're not disturbed and distracted on this day. This is so important because otherwise people will just walk past, think they can ask you a question, ask how you're going, look over your shoulder at the prototype and this will disrupt and distract you and you need focus time to build the prototype. <laughs> tip number two. Tip number two. From the previous day where you've just made a storyboard together with the team, you'll have a clear sketched out description, storyboard, of what you need to prototype. So uh, the really important thing to do with this is to prioritize those screens or steps or pieces of things that you need to prototype. You might have five, 10, 12 different sketches of things that are gonna happen in the prototype or screen designs. And maybe two or three of those will be the really important ones, the ones that you need to focus your attention on. So make sure with your team, you have prioritized and decided together which are the key pieces or key screens so that you know what to focus on. That feeds directly into tip number three, which is time boxing. Make sure that you think about all the things that you need to prototype and build which ones are the most important that might need more focus time, especially those key screens or key pieces should be the ones that have the really important features that you need to test, the things that you need to get answers from. So time boxing is super important to make sure you know everything you need to do and you allocate a time, an amount of time to each one of those things. A key screen might have a lot larger chunk of time than a supporting screen that can be done very quickly. So make sure you think about that, plan out your day so that you're not getting to the end of the day, not having finished and having to do overtime or getting stressed about it. Time boxing is tip number three. The fourth tip is check-ins. This goes along with having a quiet space where you can focus on work and having those time boxes. The next thing that you need is to have dedicated check-in times where your team or curious colleagues or people can come in and uh, see how the work is going, ask you questions, get you to run through stuff, maybe give you some useful feedback and input. But you don't want people to be coming in whenever they feel like it and disrupting and disturbing you. So make some uh, check-in times. Great times are just before lunch when you're gonna be disrupted anyway for lunchtime and a couple of hours before the end of the day so that you have these moments where people can come in uh, give you feedback, feel included in the process, and then you have uh, blocks of time afterwards to process their feedback and, um, and integrate that into your work. And make sure you tell people what those check-in times are so they know not to disturb you at any other time and they come in and only disrupt and do those check-ins at the time that you've asked for. Big tip, tip number five, and this is actually a super common misconception about prototyping in a design sprint. This big misconception is we're used to using the word prototype to mean a draft version or kind of first go version of the whole product, of the whole thing. That's what we think of when we think of the word prototype. But in a design sprint, the word prototype is used to mean the thing that we build to show our idea to potential users and get feedback and test and validate the idea. It's not a full uh, scale version or draft version of the whole thing. It's only the key pieces of the idea that we really want to test and validate. 
So that's a big misconception that you don't need to build the whole thing. And what you need to make sure you do here is especially if you're a UI designer or have that background, you don't get distracted going from the storyboard with these key screens, things that you need to test. Be careful not to add in anything extra like a login screen. Don't add a login screen if a login screen is not part of what you're testing. Setting screens, navigation, things that aren't necessary but that you might feel like you're used to designing and building. So be careful to not add anything into that uh, concept, that prototype based on what you've got from the storyboard. Just focus on building what's already been sketched. Don't add any new ideas. And remember, you're just building a prototype to test and validate the idea. So if you found that useful, subscribe below and you'll get tons of videos about prototyping, user testing, design sprints, running workshops, product stuff from AJ and Smart. Um, and if you've got something to add to this, uh, please comment below if you have questions or comments of your own. What I would love to know is what your favorite tips are for prototyping day. Below, I'm Australian. <laughs>